Hi, my loves. So nothing says spring to me quite like smoothies. So today I wanted to share five brand new smoothie ideas I think you guys are really going to love. Each one of these ideas is fresh and fruity and great for you. But what I really love about all these flavor combinations is that they've got a sweet and sour component. So they all taste just a little bit like candy, which of course is a delicious thing. Just before I get to today's smoothies, I did wanna let you know I am actually launching a brand new smoothie campaign on Instagram. So I really hope you will follow me there and take a look. It's a new format, very, very cool. And I'm going to be sharing a brand new smoothie recipe each and every day for the next 30 days. So follow me at the Domestic Geek One. And without further ado, let's get into some smooth smoothie making. First up today, I've got a banging flavor combination. It's a strawberry lemonade smoothie. And of course, it starts with a little bit of lemonade. You could of course use store-bought if you wanted to, or if you wanna make your own, not to worry, I have a recipe for that. You can just click this link, or you can definitely check out the link in the description box below. To that, we are going to add one banana. Of course, bananas add a little bit of sweetness and lots of creaminess to our smoothies. I'm also adding a whole heaping helping of beautiful strawberries. You could use fresh or frozen, either will definitely work. For even more great lemon flavor, I am using the zest of one lemon, as well as the juice of half a lemon, so you're gonna get a nice tartness in this smoothie. Finally, for a little touch of sweetness, which this probably needs because it's probably quite sour, I am adding some agave syrup. Now you definitely have the option here if you wanted to, to add some honey, that would work really, really well. On goes our lid, we're going to blend it until it is nice and smooth, and voila! Strawberry lemonade smoothie. What a beautifully refreshing way to start your morning. Next up, I have got an incredible fuzzy peach smoothie. Now this smoothie actually tastes a lot like those delicious fuzzy peach candies. I used to eat them all the time when I was a kid, I was obsessed with them. And they are the inspiration behind this recipe. It all starts with some peach juice in your blender. To that, I am adding some peaches that I've just chopped up. If you can't find fresh peaches in the grocery store, not to worry, frozen peaches will work really well in this recipe. I'm also adding some raspberries. Not only do raspberries taste delicious, but they add that sort of tartness that fuzzy peaches are known for. And finally, to this, we are also going to add a banana. I'm gonna put the lid on my blender, blend it all up, and there you go, my loves, fuzzy peach smoothie for you. Just peachy, if you ask me. Next, lovelies, we have got a smoothie that tastes like key lime pie. Trust me, it's a delicious day in the kitchen. This was a good time for you to join me here. The base for this smoothie is some almond milk. To that, I'm adding some vanilla flavored yogurt and a tablespoon or two of cream cheese. Cream cheese has a really unique flavor that works really well in smoothies, believe it or not. To that, I'm also adding a banana for fiber. And then of course, I need to add my lime. Now I couldn't find any key limes at the grocery store if I'm being really honest, so I'm using just a regular lime. I'm going to be using both the zest and the juice here because of course, both bring a bit of a different flavor to my final smoothie. Finally, because this is a dessert smoothie, or that's what I like to call it, I am adding some graham crackers. On goes our lid, blend this baby up. And what you have is breakfast that actually tastes like dessert. Next, I've got another candy inspired smoothie for you. We're calling it a cherry blaster. I don't know if you guys had those when you were a kid, but they were so super delicious. They actually were sold right next to the fuzzy peaches. You could have the cherry blaster or the fuzzy peaches. This is one of my favorite flavor combos. It's real exciting. Into the blender, I'm adding some pineapple juice. I'm also going to be adding a banana here. Next, I've got lots of beautiful pineapple chunks. And then we are going to add some cherries. Now, I am definitely using frozen cherries here. Cherries are not in season where I am, so frozen is always a great option. Blend it all up and boom! Cherry blaster smoothie. Breakfast will be a blast! <laughs> I feel like I'm in an 80s candy commercial. Finally on today's smoothie extravaganza, I am making a cranberry blueberry smoothie that is oh so tasty. It's got that perfect balance, like the rest of them, of that sweet sour happening. The sour comes from some pure cranberry juice, but you could also opt in some grape juice if you wanted to. 
As you probably know, cranberries all on their own are seriously sour, so they are always best enjoyed with something nice and sweet like blueberries. To that, I am going to add a banana. You might have noticed a theme with today's smoothies. They all have a banana in them for Buddy. Next, I am adding some vanilla flavored yogurt. And finally, I've got some lovely frozen blueberries popping into the blender. Give it all a whirl and you've got a powerful purple way to start your day. My loves, I really hope you will give these tasty smoothie recipes a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because I love seeing your blender creations. Keep in mind, I have just launched a new 30 Days of Smoothies campaign on my Instagram. So if you don't already, be sure to follow me there at the Domestic Geek One. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more smoothie deliciousness where this came from.